for the isometric view first we will decide the box size so box size will be over here this is 90 plus 30 which is equal to 120 into and the width will be 60 and the height will be we always get from front view so all the dimensions we need to convert in isometric scale and how to convert all the dimensions given in isometric scale directly by multiplying with point 82 so let us convert this particular dimension in isometric scale as 120 into 0.82 120 into 0.82 this i am getting as 98.4 into 60 we get 0.82 into 60 that gives 49.2 into 50 if you want to convert 0.82 so we get 41 so this is the actual isometric dimensions which we have converted by multiplying the 0.82 factor this is the actual box size now if any other dimension is there this should be used on regular basis that also need to be converted over here so let us mark this 15 15 30 this 15 20 30 and any other dimension is there which is need to be converted so these dimensions need to be converted in isometric scale by multiplying 0.82 because later on what we will do we will directly take these values without using the calculation because we have already calculated all the values this gives 16.4 this gives 24.6 so this is how we have converted all the dimensions which is required for the isometric projection purpose that is we have converted all the actual scales or true scales in the isometric scales now the very first step is to go for the box so we will go for the box and we will use this particular dimension for drawing the box so let us go for the box so for drawing the box what we do usually we draw the horizontal line so we have drawn the this horizontal line and we have marked a point on that horizontal line now what we will do we will mark 30 degree and 90 degree this is a point from this particular point we have let us mark 30 degree 90 degree then 30 degree on this side also so this is how we have marked the 30 degree 90 degree 60 degree now join all the points which we have marked now we have drawn the line at an angle 30 degree 30 degree and 90 degree now we will be marking this particular dimension 98.4 49.2 and 41 so let us mark these dimensions for the box 98.4 so this is 98.4 now we will be marking 49.2 on this side and 41 millimeter as a height So for drawing the box we will mark these dimensions so we have marked 98.4 49.2 and 41 so let us draw the vertical line passing through these points or let us dark so that it should be visible to you Now remove the unnecessary strip part which is not required. Now draw the vertical line passing through these points.
one of the unnecessary part which is not required so this is how we have completed with the box now we will go for this first circular part then we will go for this tapered part then at the end we will go for this smaller circle so for this semi circle semi circular part we will locate the square square of size 60 by 60 square of size 60 by 60 but over here the dimension will be will change the dimension will be 49 0.2 by 49.2. So this is 49.2. This has been already marked. Now let us mark 49.2 on this side. Let us mark the midpoint at the same time. 49.2 divided by 2. 24.51. Now let us. mark the midpoint over here and let us mark the this is the midpoint and let us mark the mid and let us complete this part so this is how we have located the midpoint on the sides of the square now once the midpoint located the very next step is to join the midpoint which we located with the smallest diagonal points like this like this join this particular point with this particular point so wherever the line intersects that gives the center this is one center this is the another center and these two are the centers which we have located now we will draw the circle as per the requirement we have to draw the semi circle like in this way so means over here we have to draw the semi circle like in this way so what we will do we will take this as a center and this as a radius and we will draw this semi and this particular point as a center and this much as a radius and complete the semi circle so this is how we have completed with the upper circular part uh, then we have to dark this particular line so this is how we have completed with the upper circular part at the same time we have to locate this arc also so we have to come below by the height is 50 mm so we have to come below by 50 mm that is we have to come below by 41 mm so let us come below by 41 mm from this centers which we have used for drawing the circle let us mark the 41 so this is 40 and this is 41 we have marked the 41 take the same radius which we have taken previously for drawing the arc same radius we have taken and we have to draw the arc by using now arc you can see now simply you have to join this curve with the horizontal line like this and let us dark this particular line as now this is visible we have to mark this particular distance 10 mm from this particular point for drawing this tapered part for drawing this tapered surface so let us mark 
this particular distance 10 mm from the bottom surface that is 8.2 millimeter from the bottom part let us mark 8.2 so this is 8.2 we have marked and let us draw the line let us join these two points let us join these two points now we have to locate this slot also of 30 by 20 mm at a distance 15 30 15 so we have to mark 15 and 30 from this marking we, we will draw this particular slot and at the same time we have to mark the midpoint also so that we can take 10 10 mm from both the sides so let us mark the midpoint and let us mark this 15 and 30 millimeter now 15 means 12.3 and 30 means 20.4 so let us mark 12.3 so this is 3 then after we have to mark 30 that is 24.6 so we have to come vertically from the points marked 15 and 20 and at the same time let us mark the midpoint of this particular side from here we have to come like this now from take this vertical line as a reference and draw the vertical line draw the vertical line and draw the parallel line passing through these points located like this now the distance is 20 mm so we have to mark 10 mm 10 mm on both the side means 8.2 mm 8.2 mm on both the sides of the line okay we have to mark 30 that is 24.6 this is 20 24 24.5 from here we have to come vertically and we have to draw the line like this then simply we uh, as we have already marked 20 mm so simply we have to project the line like this and the line like this simply we need to project then join these two points and we have to draw the vertical line passing through this particular point this is how we have completed with the slot part now this is the remaining circular part for this again we need to draw the square and square of size 30 by 30 that is 24.6 by 24.6 square we have to draw so let us join these two points these two mid to mid point these two mid to mid points now from these two point we will be marking 12.3 uh, 12.3 on both this side so let us mark 12.3 so this is that 12.3 this is that 12.3 draw the parallel line passing through these points this you can see So this is the square which we have completed so you can see these are the corners of the square and midpoint we have already marked these four are the midpoint which have marked now for this particular square square let us say one two three four these are the corners of the square now we will mark the midpoints with the smallest diagonal points like this 
like this like this and like this so wherever the diagonal point intersects that gives the center this is now let us go for the circular part so let us take the radius in the rounder as this much as a radius this as a radius we have drawn this particular arc and this as a radius let us draw so we have drawn this particular arc you can see now this as a center and this as a radius let us complete this particular arc from here also so this is how we have drawn the circular part the end part so this was the question which has been given to us the front to end top view of the object we have to draw the isometric projection so first we have drawn the scale if you want to use the scale uh, 120 if you want to locate this 120 then you can use the scale as per your requirement or directly you can get the isometric scale by multiplying the factor 0.82 there are two options or you can locate 120 90 70 30 from here you can uh, take this much distance in the rounder and you can go for the drawing purpose so this is how that depends on you which method you used to prefer for drawing the isometric view